Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are doing so wonderful today. So Christmas is pretty much here and for today's video I wanted to do a super Christmassy nail design incorporating all the traditional colors but still keeping it classy. I will also be reviewing the Sparkle Pro Nail Drill by Melody Susie. so I hope this video is super helpful. I also have a coupon code for those of you who are interested and I'll be leaving it in the description box down below. So are you guys ready? If so, let's get started. Mwah. I'm going to start by showing and describing the packaging, which contains the name of the company, the name of the e-file machine, and some specifications such as contact number, references, etc. The presentation of the box is super cute, it looks very nice and clean, which I love. As soon as you guys open the box, the first thing you're going to see is the manual of instructions. If you're a beginner, I highly recommend you read this educational information for the proper handling of the machine. Right after the manual of instructions, we can see the motor piece. The color of this particular model, which is the Sparkle Pro, is black. And as you guys can see, the first thing that stands out from the stool is the name of the company, which is Melody Susie. On one of the sides, we can see the dial to control the speed, the switch for lefties and righties, and the plug for the hand piece. On the back, you can see a hook to place on your belt or your pants, and on the other side, we can see a charger plug and a sticker with some voltage information of the machine. You guys, the material of the machine definitely feels like good quality material. I am already impressed by just the presentation of the product so far. Moving on to the first white box we see in the package, as soon as we open it, we can see the handpiece with a spiral cable. The material of the handpiece feels very good to the touch as well. It doesn't feel like a cheap tool at all, if you guys know what I mean. This machine is definitely very well made. On the center of the handpiece, we can find the lock and unlock, and on the spiral cable, we can find the connector for the motor. The size of the bits used for this machine is 3 32nd of an inch, which is the most commercial. Moving on to the second box, you guys can find the support to rest the handpiece. The company also includes a metal and a ceramic e-file bit, which is awesome because these type of high quality accessories are not usually included. This transparent accessory is used to rest the handpiece if you guys would like to hand the motor on your pants. We can also find the usual bits that come with pretty much every single filing machine that I never end up using because I think they're not suitable for acrylic. Last but not least, the package includes the charger for the machine. Honestly, I am very impressed with this company. Everything looks very well packaged, very professional, and the quality is quite amazing, you guys. I'm going to connect the handpiece to the motor, and I am going to use the forward option since I am right-handed, and to start the machine, I am going to turn the dial. You guys, this machine is definitely high technology. It has a display that indicates the battery percentage and the rotations per minute. The vibration is very minimal. You guys literally don't even feel it, and that's amazing. I think this is the best machine that I've shared with you guys in a while, so I think it's time for the switch. Before using the machine, I am going to fully charge it as recommended. Okay guys, moving on to the nails, we're going to transform these babies. So the first thing we're going to do is remove impurities and bacteria using 99% alcohol and paper towel. Once the machine is fully charged, I am going to turn it on, use the forward option, and start removing the shine from the natural nails along with the dead skin on the sides using a sanding band at a very low speed. In fact, exactly 4,000 rotations per minute because this machine gives me the option to show you the exact number that I'm on. I don't know if you guys realize, but the pinky nail is hurt, so we gotta pamper it. My client had a little accident and a hammer fell on her nail. For some reason, it seems like my clients are having several painful incidents lately. I don't know if you guys remember my video in which one of my clients yanked her nail from the root and we also had to transform her hands. If you guys haven't seen that video, I am leaving the suggestion up here so you don't miss out. Back to the subject, after removing the shine and shaping her natural nails with a hand pile, using my Russian flame bit, I am going to reach all the difficult spots and remove the dead tissue from around the pinky nail. I am also going to remove the excess cuticle in order to achieve a much cleaner finish, and I am going to use the pointy end of my cuticle pusher to clean under her nails. Thank you. 
After prepping her nails, we're going to apply artificial extensions and I am going to cut them to the desired length. I am also going to blend the separation line using my metal carbide bit. This part of the process is only for the artificial nail, you guys. Please don't file the natural nail with this bit or your client is going to experience sensitivity. I am going to remove the excess dust and I am going to apply primer and protein bond to all of her nails. I am going to pick up a red glitter acrylic bead and I am going to apply it on the pinky nail to create a thin layer as a base. In this particular set of nails, I will be implementing the three bead technique for the application of all the acrylics that I will be using in this video. On the ring fingernail, I am going to apply a layer of green glitter acrylic. Every time I work with glitter, I make sure to fill in every single spot very well because I don't like the product to look splotchy, especially since I am applying thin coats. Honestly, working with glitter acrylic is more difficult than working with opaque acrylics because the product is not as compacted together if you guys know what I mean. On the index fingernail, I am going to repeat the same process as the one on the ring fingernail. As you guys can see, the base of these nails is quite simple. I didn't want to overload them since the colors are quite vivid and I wanted them to look as delicate as possible. On the thumb, I am going to apply gold glitter acrylic and again, I am going to spread it well to create a thin layer, repeating the same process as the other nails and refining the sides with my brush to make it easier at the time of filing. On the middle nail, I am going to apply a little bit of red glitter acrylic and I am going to spread it from the cuticle area towards the tip, only covering approximately half of the nail diagonally. After letting the acrylic dry a little but before it dries completely, I am going to entwine a piece of wire in my fingers and pressing down firmly, I am going to remove the excess of red acrylic creating a diagonal line. Right after with a dull blade, I am going to remove the excess and refine the corners. While the acrylic dries, I am going to apply a thin layer of iridescent acrylic with different shapes to create a snow effect perfect for this wintry Christmas time. I'm not going to apply this layer in the middle fingernail just yet, as we haven't finished that design. Using a hand file, I am going to refine the line of the middle finger, you guys. We're going to remove the dust with a brush and then we're going to apply gold glitter acrylic to fill in the blank space of the middle fingernail, creating a division of these two super Christmassy colors. After applying the gold layer, then we can move on to applying the iridescent acrylic to create the snow effect as well.
To seal the glitter and create the structure of the nails, we're going to encapsulate this whole set using crystal clear acrylic. To encapsulate, I am also implementing the three bead technique. And guys, I have a Christmas surprise for you. In the description box, I am going to share the link so that you can go to Melody Susie's website, which is the company where I acquired this awesome e-file machine. And the best of all is that with my discount code NAILSQUEEN, you will have a 12% discount on your purchase, so don't miss out. After allowing the acrylic to dry, using my metal carbide bit and my e-file machine, I am going to remove the excess acrylic and then with a hand file, I am going to refine the edges and shape the nails. I am now going to cleanse the nails using 99% alcohol and a little piece of paper towel. To give these nails a special touch, I am going to form four little red beads of acrylic using my 3D R brush, then we're going to wait until the acrylic is semi-dry, that is when it starts becoming matte, and with the tip of my brush, I am going to pull from the middle and the sides to form petals and create a beautiful poinsettia flower, perfect for this time of the year. After forming the petals, in the middle of the flower, I am going to place a Swarovski crystal and then I am going to apply a little bit of red glitter acrylic to highlight the crystal and seal it at the same time. On the index fingernail, I am going to apply Swarovski crystals close to the cuticle area, one of size SS8 in the middle, two SS6 on each side, and consequently, one SS4 on each side to finish it off. We're going to apply a layer of gel top coat on the nails, around the flower and the crystals, and then we're going to cure it for 60 seconds. As usual, after curing, I am going to apply cuticle oil to nourish the area. And my loves, this is the final product, a super cute set of nails for Christmas with the help of my new e-file machine. What do you guys think? I love them, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and make sure you guys activate the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my content. I love you all very much. May God bless you. Mwah.